guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video with Jen Clark Fitness. <laughs> Fitness, yeah. There's not gonna be much serious content over here this month. It's not going to be too fitnessy, so hopefully you guys appreciate that. I'm moving away from the fitness content just for the month. I will try and include workouts and stuff like that in my videos, but for the time being, we're just going to be having lots of fun. I think the aim of my kind of Christmas content and these challenge videos, which I haven't explained what the video is yet, but I'm just going to tell you guys why I'm doing these kind of videos that aren't so fitness related over the past few weeks, is because I want you guys to see that you can still enjoy Christmas and you don't have to eat all this like clean food and healthy clean food. Even if you have a month off like eating anything healthy, it's okay, you've got another 11 months to smash your goals. I am definitely somebody who still tries to incorporate healthy foods into my diet, but I also don't stress about it, you know? I just get on with it, I just kind of have fun. I do these challenge videos. Even on the days that I'm not doing challenges, I'm not exactly eating 100% chicken and broccoli and sweet potato, you know? I'm eating like Christmas cookies and cakes and and chocolate i'm eating it all and i'm just still training i'm still having fun i'm still going out with my family going for meals so i just want you guys to know that christmas is a season to be happy and to be joyful and to be enjoying it with friends and enjoying it with family and going off track or going off your plan or whatever for a few weeks isn't going to do you any harm. The most important thing is that you enjoy Christmas. I am somebody who is so passionate about my goals, yet I still allow myself, allow myself? I say allow very vaguely, but I still let myself, that's just the same, isn't it? I still engage in Christmas enjoyment and I try to really be a bit more relaxed when it comes to Christmas season. I mean, I don't completely go off, off the radar, you know, I'm not saying that I completely go crazy because I still find myself in the gym, I still find myself eating healthy foods. I just don't stress about it too much and I don't really focus too much on anything. I just focus on having fun and enjoying the Christmas period because it happens once a year and it's just enjoying. And I'm not enjoying enjoying it's just joyful isn't it i'm not saying that like the other 11 months of the year you can't have fun but what i'm saying is that definitely don't put extra stress on yourself at this time of the year because it's just not worth it i promise you guys this is probably i think i said it last year but every year i seem to get stronger and stronger with my approach to fitness and i said last year like this is the best year yet in terms of my relationship with food but honestly this this is the best year yet and i am positive that even in 2020 christmas i will have the best year yet i aim to make every year better you know even though i'm saying this is the best year yet and apparently it's not even no what am i about even though i said it last year and now it's even better what i'm trying to say is that i'm constantly improving and i may be even stronger next year than i am this year in terms of like my relationship with food and stuff and to be honest i actually am pretty confident that i have reached the highest level of happiness with my food relationship and etc don't get me wrong there's still them odd days but i think they're just part of me and i'm gonna like kind of always have those little days where i just feel a bit meh about everything but that's life and this video intro has gone on for far too long so welcome to this new video guys welcome to me me trey <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying so hello and welcome to a new video my name is jen clark fitness Jen Clark Fitness, remember that guys, I do actually do fitness content once upon a time. Basically, I am doing a 24 hour Christmas food challenge video for you guys. Two. Day. I've got two video ideas planned. One is Christmas foods for 24 hours. The other is trying festive fast food restaurant menu menus. So the one that I do then will be Christmas foods from the likes of like KFC, McDonald's, Subway. If you guys are interested in that, keep your eyes open for that video because it's going to be epic. This one is just more like eating Christmas themed foods, like going to a supermarket, seeing what Christmas foods they've got, creating my own Christmas foods, just having lots of fun. And for the record, because it, you have to do this when you do a challenge video, it's Monday the 16th of December. You can't hold on. I was gonna say you can't even see okay there we are it's monday the 16th of december which also means that it is seven weeks until we go to new york city i'm so excited you guys the content february's content is going to be in 
insane, I'm telling you. I am telling you guys right now. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get on with this video. Let's not ramble on any longer. You guys are here for the food. Let's go make some breakfast, guys. See you in the next clip. Bye. Guys, for breakfast this morning, I'm actually gonna be making my own breakfast, which I think you guys are gonna really enjoy. It's really cute. And then after that, I'm gonna be going to supermarkets and trying to find things to try for you guys that are Christmas theme. And I am so excited. I'm also gonna go to the gym. So if I can film in the gym for you guys, I'll film my workout. So let's make some breakfast. Here's my Christmas breakfast. It kind of failed because the star of the egg didn't quite look like a star, so I had to put this back on it and give it the outline. And then it also failed because that star's arm fell off. And I think this is the only successful one, but I think it's really cute. I put this um, protein spread on it, which is white chocolate flavor, and then sprinkled it with some milk, chocolate, vermicelli, whatever that's called, <laughs> however you say that. So this is my Christmas theme breakfast, which I'm super excited to eat because it's gonna taste better than it looks, okay? Here I am with my little breakfast, it's my little stars, and I'm gonna eat it, you know? <gasps> That was actually a really nice breakfast. I'm really satisfied. You know, it was pretty basic in that it was egg on toast and white chocolate spread on toast. But to make it festive, I used some cookie cutters and cut the stars out, you know? Kind of failed. That was super good. We are actually gonna go train now, so... I've got chocolate on my lips. We're gonna go train now and enjoy the rest of the day. So, see you guys in the gym. Got my gym gear on already. I've actually got on these leggings. These are my protein and they have like a mesh sort of mesh. Can you see? So basically I'm gonna get really cold today and then I've got this pink soda like I don't know what it is. So I've got this on and then on top of that, I'm wearing, which I've had for years, honestly, it's like the first thing I ever bought from Gymshark. It's a Gymshark black body warmer, which I literally only kind of wear in the winter when it's mild, not when it's freezing, because you obviously can't really wear a jacket. I've got my eye watch on and then shoes wise, I've just got some Adidas old shoes. Don't know why I've shown you guys what I'm wearing, just thought, why not? So yeah, catch you guys at the gym, bye. <laughs> Sorry that's a little bit dark, 
workout done i'm sorry that it's a little bit dark i'm actually in an underground car park so it is a little bit dark but basically i've got this to try which is the grenade gingerbread carb killer which i've not actually tried i don't think i got to try it last year because i think it had gone out of stock but this year i've bought two from grenade when they had a black friday sale so i thought the perfect day to eat it is today because i feel like they're so special that i need a special excuse to eat them it even says season's greetings on it so this is like the most christmas christmas i can't say that i think this is the second time i've failed to say christmas is christmas 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 the most festive thing that i'm gonna eat i don't remember well i've never had it so oh guys i cannot get over that oh look and then it's kind of just standard carb killer inside oh my goodness me there's like it smells gingery mm. i'm not the biggest like love it of the flavor of ginger but this is quite nice you know that white chocolate bit it's so good it's only like very subtle ginger so it's not really strong like a gingerbread man because i don't like ginger biscuits or gingerbread men -uh. but i like this i forgot to mention those little bits on top there the super crunchy they're like little rice krispies really good so hey guys i am back and it is lunchtime. it is actually now a few more hours has gone by it's three o'clock and it's still monday it's still the 16th of december i went to asda to pick up a few bits and couldn't find what i wanted apparently asda sell christmas ch tree christmas tree christmas tree frozen chicken things couldn't find them thought they would have been really fun to have searched high and low for apparently asda's christmas tree shaped pizza again couldn't find it absolutely more mortified not mortified that's a bit dramatic absolutely devastated you know i thought i was going to be super fun obviously you shouldn't just look online and expect things to be in the store because they're not always so that's been a little bit disappointing but i'm happy with what i got it doesn't look in the shape of anything Christmassy, like today seems to have been so far but it's a christmas festive sandwich from asda and it's the roasted cauliflower and hummus sandwich 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 why does that sound wrong now i'm saying it again and again hummus sandwich sandwich <laughs> i don't know hummus sandwich that has got cranberry chutney on which i've never tried cranberry chutney before this is actually a vegan sandwich and so i'm gonna have this for my lunch so we'll do a quick taste review and then we'll just speed it up because you know that's how i like to roll it makes the video mm, makes the video not seem as long for you guys oh it's new as well so it, it must be something that they don't normally do like i know they don't normally do it because obviously it's christmas theme but i mean like the other christmas sandwiches didn't say new on so this must be like a brand new flavor of christmas sandwich if you get what i mean it smells very nice it smells very flavorful piece of cauliflower i mean cauliflower is a bit weird because it's literally quite raw oh it's even got spinach on it guys this is where i'm gonna get my health from today you can see like the layer of cranberry sauce let's try this it's very interesting you get a lot of cauliflower so it's very crunchy and it's like you can taste the cranberry it's very subtle i quite like the cranberry in it i can't really taste the hummus so much i'd probably give it about a five out of ten because it's not amazing but for a vegan sandwich it's quite nice you know i'm gonna eat it because otherwise i've got no lunch and it's three o'clock so i'm gonna eat this now and see you guys in the next so i'm back in the car now i've actually just been into sainsbury's it's only been about 25 minutes since i had that christmas sandwich it's only half free just so you guys can see um i picked up which i really want to try later on this mince pie flavor porridge i'll have that for like a bedtime snack i guess um but for now i picked this up from poundland earlier on when i was in town after the gym and i just thought because i've not really had too much to eat so far and it's half half past three it's a little orange snowman i mean he's not actually orange i've never actually tried this before oh oh it's so cute mm. it's like an arrow inside you can't get much more festive than a chocolate snowman can you that was solid 10 out of 10 cannot beat that what was i gonna say i'm gonna go home now and walk the dog just do some bits and bobs and i'll catch you guys at my next meal which i'm not quite sure what it's going to be but i'll see you guys then 
Hey guys, so it is tea time. You are literally gonna laugh your head off at the tea that I've got. Having an issue trying to show you guys. Basically, we've got stars on a plate. I've got these prawn toast stars, which I got from Asda. Because again, like I said, all the things that I wanted to get from Asda weren't there. And then I've just got some turkey that I use my star cutters to... And then I got some turkey and just cut out stars with it. Mmm. It seems like a bit of a small tea, and it's certainly very random, but it's definitely Christmassy. I can't do a taste test of turkey, because turkey is turkey, but let's try these prawn toast stars. They're actually really flavourful. I don't eat prawns on their own, but I've always liked prawn toast. Just put some ketchup on, you know? So I'm just going to eat this most random meal right now. <laughs> I finished. It's only five o'clock. I do have another thing in store to try for you guys later on. But for now, I'm quite full up. Those prawn star. Prawn toast stars. Those prawn toast stars are really nice. I think they're a great idea for like Christmas party food. And they were two pound in Asda, but I actually saw similar ones in Sainsbury's for a little bit cheaper. They were like on offer. They were meant to be two pound. They were a little bit cheaper. See you guys in the next clip. Bye! So hey guys, the final thing that I'm going to try for you guys, well I've got three things. So I've got the mince pie porridge, which I said I wanted to try. I've then got this dairy milk winter gingerbread, which I've never seen before. And then yesterday in Aldi, I picked up this sweet freedom chock shot, which I'm going to have some clementines, if that's what they're called. So I'm going to put some of this on my oranges to have like chocolate orange. And then I've got the bowl of mince pie porridge here, which I'm going to try right now. It smells like mince pies. I don't like mince pies, so this could be interesting, but I do like porridge. Mmm. To be honest, it doesn't really taste like mince pie. It smells like mince pie. It just tastes... I suppose it has got a very festive mince pie hint to it, but it's not horrible. Like, it's not like I don't like it. It's quite nice. And then I'm going to try some of this. So it's just like a normal chocolate. And then obviously it's got little, I'm assuming the gingerbread pieces. So considering I don't like gingerbread, I'm a big fan of all these gingerbread flavoured things. Oh. I need to try that sauce, don't I? I forgot. Let's try the winter spice chock shot. I can't really taste it because of the oranges. I mean, with the oranges, it's really nice, but I'm just going to have to do a straight up taste test because I can't tell if it's got a winter spice taste to it. It just tastes like normal chock shot. Like, there's a hint of spice, but it's not that Christmassy like winter spice. I don't even know what winter spice is, so... I can't really tell if it does taste like winter spice or not. It's really good. So I'm just going to finish these off now. I'm going to end this clip. Because it's the end of the video. I've had a great time eating festive foods today. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Overall, thank you so much for watching it if you did. I hope to see you in the next video. That will be coming very soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.